the reading books all about family, friends, and pets. So our summer reading is Reading Powers the World. So we're going to talk about how family, friends, and pets color our world. Miss Shirley trying to find a good spot around here. <laughs> so we're going to get started with our books and we're going to have some songs today and some very good things that we're going to do. Okay, and we may have a gift. Some families 
like to be messy. Some families live in a house by themselves. And some families share a house with them. All families can help each other be There are lots of different ways to be a family. Your family is special no matter what kind it is. Love, all right. Oh, I love that story. Oh my goodness, that's such a fun well, And you know what? It was so colorful in more than one way, wasn't it? That was a great story. I love that. But you know what? When they say some families are noisy, yeah, that's the key. Some families are noisy. And then some families can be messy. Well, we all have a messy time every now and then. Some more longer than others. And then some families are clean. I like that one. Oh, that was such a fun story. Our next story that I want to read today is... Let me get my flannel book. I just want to show you something. Show you something. Come get it out. No, what I couldn't find that bag last week. It wasn't hot. And what I was So, we're going to... Is it what kind of legs? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I have a lot of things that lay things. Sometimes I just cannot find it. So, sometimes we meet family and friends that are eating something different that we may never have tried before. And if we look at it, we may have the tendency to say, ooh, yeah, mm, and, But we don't want to offend anyone or make them say it, do we? So sometimes we might have to try new food for our family or our friends. And that's okay, as long as it doesn't, if we're not allergic to it or something. It's all right to try. So this story is about a Peanut butter sandwich, peanut butter jelly sandwich. And what do you guess what that is? That is a sandwich. But I couldn't tell what it is, but guess what it is? It's a hummus sandwich. Yeah, I like hummus, but I have never had a hummus sandwich. They 
played on the swings together. Wow. Yeah. They jump both together. Yeah, that was my favorite thing to do, them. And they ate their lunches together. But guess what they ate was a little different. Lily ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day for lunch. And Selma ate a hummus and peanut sandwich every day for lunch. And although Lily never said it out loud, she thought the Selma sandwich looked weird and yucky. And she felt terrible that her friend had to eat that icky chickpea paste every day. Ew! Yuck! And although Selma never said it out loud, she thought that Lily's sandwich looked strange and gross. And she felt just awful that her friend had to eat that gooey peanut butter paste every day. Ew! Gross! <laughs> then one day, Lily just couldn't hold back those pesky thoughts any longer. Your sandwich looks kind of yucky, she blurted out. What did you say, Selma A? Thinking she must have misunderstood her friend. I said your sandwich looks yucky. Selma Flam, she looked down at the thin soft bread and she thought about her beautiful smiling mother and she carefully cut Selma's sandwich into two neat halves. And her hurt feelings turned Yeah, well, your sandwich looks gross and it smells bad too. Selma snapped that. Lily looked surprised. She sniffed the thick, squishy bread and she thought about her dad and his silly apron whistling as he cut Lily's sandwich into two perfect triangles that morning. Lily style. It does not smell bad. Does too. Ew, yuck. Ew, gross. Mm. That afternoon, the friends did not draw pictures together. They did not swing together. They did not jump rope together. The next day, Selma ate her lunch at one table, and Lily ate her lunch at another. And meanwhile, the peanut butter versus hummus story had spread it, and everyone was choosing side. Each side had something not so nice to say to the other. Peanut butter bread, jelly head, garlic bread. Pretty soon, the fruit and sauce had nothing to do with all of the peanut butter or the hummus. Oh, they were calling each other names. You'll agree it, that's silly. And then it happened. Somebody yelled. Food fight. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. about and hummus sandwiches and other lunch favorites began flying back and forth between both sides of the lunch room. They stuck to the walls. They stuck to the ceilings. They stuck to the lunch lady. When the sandwiches were all gone, pudding cups and applesauce and currant sticks looked alike. Selma and Lily looked at one another from across the valley flatted rum. They both felt ashamed by what they saw. Mm, that's not good, is it? They both felt really ashamed when the principal called them into her office. And after that, they helped clean up the mess. The following day, Selma set her lunch down across from Lily. The two girls never Sure, why not? Would you like to try my hummus and pizza? Lily laughed. I like that. On the count of three, okay? One, two, three. Hey, hey yummy. Hey, this is delicious. And this is heavenly.
Oh my goodness. Look what they're doing. Can you tell? Everyone is winning something from that little bag that they eat, and it's all different. It's like they have like a little buffet of all the different types of food. Wait a minute, I just think that they will be friends. 
Do you want to hear me read? Yes. 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 Now what are you doing? Writing? I like to write. Do you want to see me write? What are you doing now? Thinking? Thinking makes me hungry. Are you hungry? I think I'll go make a snack. I'm back. I made a snack. I wrote a note. I'll read it to you. I like you. Indeed I do. You are my splendid friend. Thank you. I like you too. Indeed I do. You are my splendid friend. My splendid friend indeed. about friendship because friends may not look like they're supposed to be friends. They can be completely different. You know, like this bear and this duck. Who would thought that a bear and a duck would be friends? They can be completely different. And you know what? You don't have to do a lot with your friends. Sometimes you can be quiet, just talk a little, keep company. That's a good friend. I like that. Oh, fun. Good news. That was fun. Now, can I show you something? My favorite sign language bird. I want you to do your hands like this. Make two hooks. And we're going to put them together. And this means friend. Yeah, so I can say my friends will be all of you. Or you could say you are my friend. Which would be. But remember that you can be friends. Now we're going to take out the scarf and we're going to dance around to a song that we usually will hold hands for. But instead of holding hands, we're going to dance around. So I'm going to ask my helper to come and get the scarf with a Together we can, and then it's going to be a turn.
wheel. Okay, so we'll help you put it together, but you need to take these two pieces out of your bag. All your other goodies, you let that stay inside, okay? So, you're going to see a container of goldfish. <laughs> we are not going to eat these right now because this goes with a little game that's in your bag. Okay? So what are we not going to do with the goldfish? Yeah. No, we're not going to eat these right now. We're going to play the game first when you get home. And then if mom says it's okay, then you can eat the goldfish. So no one's going to eat them right now because you do not want to get me in trouble, right? That's right. Okay, I see some hesitancy somewhere, but good job. Thank you. So when you get to bed, take these two pieces out from Family, friendship, and bestie. 